it's kind of neat, but... How are the rescue efforts? Have they found anyone alive? Excavation is slow, as you can imagine. Let's see what we have. <clears throat> Inquisitor. Right. And break. Let's go do that one. Let's go do a, a main quest. Good to see you safe, Inquisitor. We've got trouble ahead.
I'm sure it's nothing the Inquisition can't handle. Careful, Your Worship. That optimism might be catching. <laughs> the thing's that bad. Dead or slow. What the Conan? Oh. Crestwood was the site of a flood ten years ago during the Blight. It's not the only rift in the area, but after it appeared, corpses started walking out of the lake. You'll have to fight through them to get to the cave where Sir Hawk's Grey Warden friend is hiding. <laughs> have any undead attacked the camp? We've had a few shamblers, but most head toward the village below. Maybe someone in Crestwood can tell you how to get to the rift in the lake. Maker knows they'll want help. Good luck, and please be safe. for you. What is it? This may be worthwhile. Must be a way to get to the rift in the lake. It sounds different. The water changes the song. Does that rift mean water is pouring into the fade right now?
Go back to the village, miss. These roads aren't... The Grey Wardens thank you for your aid, Inquisitor. What are you doing in Crestwood? A warden named Stroud is wanted for questioning. We heard he'd passed through here, but the villagers knew nothing. They have troubles enough. What have you been told about this rogue warden? Warden Commander Clorel ordered his capture. I can say no more than that. I hope Sir Stroud comes with us peacefully. I trained under him for a time. He's a good man, I'm sure of that. Will you stay to fight the undead here? My orders forbid it. Crestwood was only a detour. Is that all the aid we can offer these people? If the Inquisition can help, I beg you to do what you can. The villagers have already lost too many. Farewell. Farewell. Sir, are you sure we can't help the village? None of those Wardens mentioned a new leader. I don't think they're part of Corypheus's plot to seize the Order. I didn't want to say much in case they were, but I think you're right. I hope Hawk's Warden friend has answers for us. Dead by the gates. The guards need help.
Ark's occupied. They're frightened inside, trapped by the walls that protect them.
We could camp here. That's the idea. the mountain to get to him. The warden and hawk should be inside that cave. Maybe I shouldn't have brought her. Glad you made it. I just got here myself. My contact with the wardens should be at the back of the cave. A group of wardens were protecting a villager from corpses out near Crestwood. They were likely hunting my friend. I'm glad they didn't come looking for people to help in here. They might well be good men, but they've been given bad orders. Let's go. Uh, are you and Cassandra, Cassandra gonna play nice? It's just us. I brought the Inquisitor. My name is Taud, and I'm at your service, Inquisitor. Most of you wardens disappear. Then I run into a darkspawn magister named Corypheus. Do you think that one might have something to do with the other? Mm, I fear it is so. When my friend Hawk slew Corypheus, Weishaupt was happy to put the matter to rest. But an archdemon can survive wounds that seem fatal, and I feared Corypheus might possess the same power. My investigation uncovered clues, but no proof. Then, not long after, every warden in Orlais began to hear the calling. Maker! Why didn't you tell me? It was a Grey Warden matter. I was bound by an oath of secrecy. Is the calling some sort of Grey Warden ritual? The calling tells a Warden that the Blight will soon claim him. It starts with dreams. Then come whispers in his head. The Warden says his farewells and goes to the deep roads to meet his death in combat. And every Grey Warden in Orlais is hearing that right now. They think they're dying. Yes. Likely because of Corypheus. If the Wardens fall, who will stand against the next Blight? It is our greatest fear. So Corypheus isn't controlling them. He's bluffing them with this calling, and they're falling for it. Is the calling they're hearing real, or is Corypheus mimicking it somehow? I know not. Even as a senior Warden, I had heard only the vaguest whispers of Corypheus. The Wardens believe that this calling is real, and they will act accordingly. That is all we know for certain.
You said all the Wardens are hearing the calling. Does that include you? And also you, Blackwall? Sadly, yes. It lurks like a wolf in the shadows around a campfire. The creature that makes this music has never known the love of the Maker, but... at times, I almost understand it. We must uncover what Corypheus has done and end it. This cannot stand. I do not fear the calling. And worrying about it only gives it power. Anything Corypheus does will only strengthen my resolve. How can Corypheus make all these Wardens hear the calling? I cannot say. We know little about him, save that he is dangerous. He is a Magister, as well as a Darkspawn, and speaks with the voice of the Blight. That lets him affect the minds of Wardens, since we are tied to the Blight ourselves. It must be how he created this false calling. So the Wardens are making some last desperate attack on the Darkspawn. We are the only ones who can slay Archdemons. Without us, the next Blight will consume the world. Warden Commander Clarell spoke of a blood magic ritual to prevent future Blights before we all perished. When I protested the plan as madness, my own comrades turned on me. Grey Wardens are gathering here. ...in the Western Approach. It is an ancient Tevinter ritual tower. Meet me there, and we will find answers. Let's go. We should get to the Ritual Tower in the Western Approach as soon as possible, Your Worship. We'll talk later. I heard what he said. Hopefully we'll find some answers in the Western Approach.
someone emptied a whole bag of turnips into the fire. Ah, oh, make it, the smell is everywhere. I was going to use them for dinner and then... Oh, I can't recall who took them. <laughs> 